I'm Benjamin Richardson, uh, the founder of Bear Threads, Visible Mending and Material Response. They're both sustainable brands uh, and you'll be seeing a lot more of them in the future. In one sentence, a Material Response is a menswear brand which focuses on reworking existing pieces into something unique. The name Material Response comes from this idea of working with what you've got and using that to respond to the issue of sustainability and also it's a bit of a play on words kind of linking to this idea of like something which is actually a substantial response as opposed to like paying lip service uh, to kind of sustainability uh, which is kind of what a lot of companies have done and will do. It's made me realise that I can use um, upcycling as a way to constrict my creative process which then leads me to kind of solve an issue. So how can I rework an existing piece uh, in, a, in a new way uh, and I almost by creating a problem and having to solve it that, that really gives my design like an identity uh, which excites other people as well because they can relate to what it was and then they can see that change and that satisfies them. The main thing that underpins all of my creative process is this, uh, this idea of using, using upcycling as a, as a challenge and the final outcome is, is always a response to the challenges that I've encountered throughout that upcycling process. In terms of like inspiration, I draw from from everyone around me, from styling, like how people style themselves. The way that I see sustainability as a designer is kind of taking a look back to our ancestors and that waste nor want not approach and how we can learn from that approach when resources were scarce and apply that to a situation where resources are not scarce, but they will be at some point. This homogenized high street that you get, people are kind of wanting to explore something new. But what's exciting is that it's the role of small designers to really kind of pioneer the ethos of sustainability and establish it in the minds of consumers. I think sustainability can be like a really important thing for us emerging designers because it's something that sets us apart from the more established brands. And when you see it from behind the scenes, uh, you realise how many brands are really kind of, it, they're paying lip service to sustainability as a marketing ploy, uh, which is arguably worse than not doing it at all. I want to kind of establish a community of young designers who are sustainably inclined with their approach, uh, because I think creating a community is how small brands will have a bit more of a voice when it comes to sustainability. So there's a plethora of kind of difficulties that I've encountered while trying to start the sustainable brand. The main one is time. When you're like a one man band, it's really tough trying to manage stuff. And when I'm working really hard on the fashion, then I'm really compromising my digital content. Uh, you need to be really on the ball with documenting everything you do. And then the whole social side of things and then reaching out and talking to other people. It's basically just trying to balance all of that. Uh, and it's rewarding finding that balance. 